Okay, let's take a look at the UVs. Um, and the models improve some. Um, I think it looks pretty good. I think that uh, might be more cuts than I would have done. Like. Like I'm wondering if you need um, this one and this this here. I kind of feel like you don't need that or that this this one right there. So you could select those edges and move and sew a few of them and then unfold again and see if it worked out. Did you lay both sides on top of each other? Um, yeah, I don't usually do that because, um, oh god, you really got to delete history. This thing is acting slow. Alt Shift D. Also, you have some animation on the, uh, there, so I'm going to just delete the animation. Edit, delete by type channels. Um, whoops. Why did it do that? I'm just going to assign, um, no, material. Um, anyway, the point is is that if you want to paint it and be able to make it asymmetrical, you can't have these on top of each other. <gasps> Ooh. Even after I delete the history. Because it looks like you have two on top of each other. I don't usually do that. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, again, you could leave as is. I just think you could take some of these seams out. I think there's too many seams. You just select them and then move them so, uh, move and sew, then unfold again. But I would lay it out without having things on top of each other. So you could paint asymmetrically and not have it be mirrored.